Yo, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> I know I piece of people when I say that. Yeah, you're not black. Why do you talk like you're black, man? Yeah. No, but um, anyway, I'm equipped like a black man. <laughs> no, okay. Um, today, I will talk about the bug with Model 3 and Ionity. Yeah. So, more and more people are getting this. So, I need to explain a lot of stuff. But uh, um, what's happening is that now more and more people who try to use Ionity chargers, you know, those 350 kilowatt fast chargers, they experience that the charging stops after five minutes, 10 minutes. It's, it's completely random. So, um, and also people want to know uh, how, how can you, how, when are you going to fix this? Uh, when are you going to fix this? You know? uh, so, anyway, let's just look at some clips here. Uh, manual uh, white balance, manual uh, exposure, everything is manual. Uh, shit, what the heck? No, oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Yeah, shit. But, oh, clock again. It's on. But you know, in the beginning, they showed a very fancy Porsche design. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. Clong, 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 clong. 50%. And she. Let's go to the free charger. Have enough of this bullshit. So, you see. It stops randomly. Sometimes it takes a long time, sometimes it doesn't, but every time it stops, uh, you can hear this bang sound. Okay, I, I didn't say she or whatever, but there was this clonk sound or this bang sound. Uh, most of the time that happens also when, I mean, it's happened right when it stops, you know? Uh, so let me explain a little bit what that clonk sound is. It only happens with Model 3. So I have some other videos about it. It has something to do with the metal expanding. Uh, or shrinking, I guess, when the temperature changes going up or down. And when you supercharge or fast charge, the temperature on the battery rises and then naturally uh, the metal expands and you get that gunk sound. And now we're gonna turn on some... Oh, you hear that? <laughs> now the water is cold. Okay. Now we just... We want to chill down the sink and then we turn it to hot water. Okay, now, now we switch it to hot water. Okay, it's getting hot. <laughs> exactly that sound from Model 3. Now let's, let's chill it down. Um, and why was this not a problem before? Well, naturally because, let's say uh, three months ago, then uh, the Model 3s were restricted to about 120, yeah, exactly 120 kilowatt. Uh, so when we charged back then, I didn't get this problem because uh, the charging speed was not that high. I still get that clonk sound, but it wasn't that strong. But now when we suddenly get 190 kilowatt, uh, it was bang, so, so sometimes so powerful, and I think that one could cause the charger to stop. Now I tried um, other chargers also. Well, I tried supercharger. I also get the clonk sound there, but it doesn't do anything. Um, I tried tritium. Uh, yeah, that was tritium. I tried ABB charger and uh, the hypercharger and those chargers uh, even if I get the clong sound does not trigger it but on the other hand I haven't tried them that often compared to how often I tried ionity chargers because naturally the ionity chargers are faster because on the on the two other ones I mentioned the ABB and uh, hypercharger I could only peak at around 150 kilowatt whereas um, the Ionity goes up to 192, but it doesn't seem like that's the only reason uh, because uh, you also saw in the last clip there, I was only getting about 140, 150 kilowatt and it still bugged. Yeah, but it seems like the probability for it to bug goes up when the charging speed is higher and also has to do with if the battery was colder because when we did the 24 hour um, world record, um, then we actually, we charge a lot. We charge about 
some at least 20 times and it only bugged twice and that might have something to do with it. Um, the battery was warm most of the time it has more or less constant temperature every time we supercharge we didn't hear that crazy clonk sound we usually hear i'm oh, sorry not super supercharge i only charge um and then it seems like as long as you don't have too crazy expansion and too too strong clonk sound uh then it's okay right uh but it also seems like the tritium charger there could be tritium charger alone i'm not sure tritium charger could be more sensitive to that one because uh, when it happened uh, on the first clip that you saw it happened at the waterberg and right after it happened i called tesla support and they looked into the log of the car and they said that there was uh, this this grounding error event or whatever so some kind of grounding error uh, that triggered uh, the car to stop charging um and it happened actually three times. So I tried to charge and then it bugged and then I plug in again uh, and then it bugged. And then the third time I actually charged uh, and then I stopped manually. I mean, I stopped normally at the charger, but it still generated that error. So that was a little bit weird. It shouldn't uh, generate, a charger shouldn't cause the car to generate an error code. So right away you guys would probably blame tritium for not following the protocol or whatever I, I don't know really what's happening um so i think um yeah so right now i don't have enough observations to only blame tritium uh, but we know that it happens with tritium it could also happen with hypercharger and abb uh, maybe this is a problem that tesla needs to solve but then will tesla solve it um i'm not sure and what about um ionity i mean you can say, well, it's Ionity's fault. Well, is it? Because I also talk today. I went to talk to um, uh, Ionity. Yeah, one of the rock stars. So here you can see a clip here. Well, and you know, I just happened to be here with uh, um, Jan Hogan Ile. He's uh, well. Actually, you can. I, I always forget your title, but you can explain again. Yeah. Yeah, I'm head of Northern Europe, so responsible for um, deploying and operating charger in the Nordic and the Baltics. For Ionity. For Ionity. Yes, <laughs> that's so, true. So you see, the problem is that uh, many people, uh, maybe not me, but other people, if they use Ionity chargers with Model 3 and they get this problem, then the first they will blame is Ionity. <laughs> yeah, that's always the easiest, yes. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So uh, what what can we do then? I mean, it's it's not Ionity's pro problem. I mean, it's Ionity's problem, but it's not Ionity's fault. It's tritiums. Uh, what well, tritium and Tesla? Yeah. Yeah. The, our experience, we see that for especially uh, or almost only for the, the Tesla Model 3. Three, we have this um, charging stopping in the middle of the charging session. If it could be 40, 50, or 60 percent suck, then the charging is suddenly stopping, and then mm. need to start it again. Yeah. And with uh, today's price model, where you pay per charging session, yeah. then you need to pay twice. I, I will advise you if that happened call the customer support and tell them so then you can get the claim back because oh. we, we, we try to help you understand the problem but we also get the question or they ask why don't you do something with this and it's not so easy because it could be in the car since this is the car that had the problem okay but it could be maybe also something in the uh, chargers delivered from tritium so the best thing here is to put tritium and tesla together yeah to really test this and find out if there need to be adjustment either in the car or in the charger yeah okay so but at, at least i uh, uh, the customer support they know about this Right. So if yes. if someone calls and say ah Tesla Model Three, I only the ah okay. <laughs> yeah, the the easiest then is that they uh, can actually restart the charging session again because they can see the system that you have charged, uh, have paid for the first time, mm. and then some things happen. So we try always to help the customers to give them best possible experience. So so please call them until this is solved. Yeah. So you know I would ask you then, uh, would you? What would you recommend Model 3 owners? Should they stay away from Ionity chargers or do you encourage them to still use them? Now, our charger is open for all EVs with CCS connectors. So, so if you want to charge and want to have the highest speed, I understand why they come. <laughs> yeah. so, so of course, but rather if it happens, call the customer support and ask them to start it again because they can see that you have already paid. Well, all right. That's awesome. Uh, thank you so much for the in insight. Thank you. Yeah.
Um, okay, so we didn't really conclude anything from that clip uh, other than that, okay, uh, Ionity, they will try to make this as best as possible, but it's it's kind of out of their control. It depends on Tritium, their, their manufacturer of the hardware. So, so again, I think Tritium and Tesla should try to talk together and solve this. Uh, I know that, you know, when we had, uh, we had earlier, we had some handshake problems with the hypercharger that uh, uh, Fortum uses. Uh, apparently what I heard from Fortum, uh, Tesla did not follow the handshake protocol. Well, let's say just like, you know, Internet, Internet Explorer did not follow the HTML standards. So then people, web developers, they had to make some extra code just so the website would look okay on Internet Explorer, right? And you can say it's about the same thing with, with Tesla uh, some a couple of months ago that it didn't follow the protocol, but the uh, Alpitronic, which is the manufacturer of a hypercharger, they actually wrote some some workaround code so that Model 3 would work on the chargers. So this shows you that, okay, some car, I mean, some, uh, some um, hard uh, charger manufacturer like Alpitronic actually wants the, the other, whatever car it is to work on the charger. And hopefully Tritium is also willing to make some kind of effort to solve this problem because we don't know in the end if it's Tritium or Model 3, but it seems like it's one of those, yes, that causes the problem. So uh, maybe Tritium should call Tesla or Tesla call Tritium or um, my gut feeling is that Tesla, they probably don't give a shit because uh, Model, uh, version 3 supercharger is coming out uh, soon. And then hopefully when it comes out, it doesn't trigger that bug because it seems like when you have a Tesla charger hardware with Tesla car, it works great, no problems. Uh, but when you have Tesla on third-party charging stuff, then it could bug. And then Tesla, they would be like, wow, that's too bad. Yeah, if you call <laughs> Yeah, but of course, if someone with a Tesla calls um, Tesla support and say, hey, we have problems with supercharger, then okay, then they're going to try to fix it. Um, so it then, I guess it then boils down to Tritium. And I know that people from Tritium and people from... Um, Ionity and from Tesla, they all watch my video. <laughs> so again, uh, in the end, we have a user like me and other people who want to charge. And uh, most most of the time, uh, these Tesla owners, they especially Model 3 with good range, they don't have to go to Ionity. We have so good coverage of superchargers that they don't need Ionity uh, anyway, but uh, there will always be people who want to try it out or some people, they find it uh, convenient that, okay, we have an Ionity charger. I actually experienced a couple of times that uh, it was better to use Ionity because the Ionity charger just happened to fill a gap where the supercharger was not there. And then if I wanted to take that route, yeah, actually, it was actually when I was trying to drive from Bustdorf to Demineland. Uh, that was a long stretch and I used Ionity to top up there. So there will be cases where it's better to use Ionity. Uh, so it's a win-win for everyone if we can get that bug fix. Yeah. Uh, but another thing that uh, I forgot to talk about uh, with um, Jan was that, uh, okay, um, it's very frustrating that you pay a fixed price and then it bugs and then you want your money back because you only charge for five minutes. But at least if the pricing was per minute or kilowatt hour or combination, then it's less of a deal, okay? Uh, it depends because if you start charging and you go you go have a nice dinner and you come back and like, what the heck, it stopped after five minutes. That was, that's that's not good. That's, that's, that's it's niche good, nine. Uh, but, um, but at least you didn't lose money. You just lost time. Yeah, and then some people might be pissed because you are not charging. Um, but um, on the other hand, I think based on what I heard, I saw it on, on the pricing model that once, once I only did, they removed this introduction price of eight euros per session, then charging at Ionity might be so expensive that Tesla owners will not charge anyway, or it could be that they want to top up only only five, 10 minutes, like I actually needed to do um, in my case. And then you can just go to the next supercharger or whatever. So so um, I would say that uh, swap, I mean, taking out that fixed price uh, will solve 
parts. I mean, uh, it won't solve the problem. It would just make it less painful once it occurs. Yeah, something like that. But okay, uh, long run, uh, so long run thing about this. Uh, and at least now you know uh, it's what's going on. And I think my recommendation, based on my experience with this bug, is that um, you should uh, avoid Ionity chargers. Yeah, it sounds weird. I mean, I'm <laughs> yawn who belongs. No, <laughs> but. Uh, I personally think I would try to avoid the Ionity chargers because um, you will be, uh, you might lose time because you depend on it. Uh, you might be pissed because you you only you will only get five minutes and then it bugs. So and then you have to call Helga. And I mean, you have to call uh, uh, the the tech support and uh, do some stuff, and that's also a waste of time. Um, so I think for now it's best to avoid it. But uh, like I mentioned, sometimes it's more convenient to visit one and then top up and then go to the next one or something like that. So yeah, it's up to you, but just to me, use it at your own risk. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I think that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.